Hi everyone, this is Sendhil Kumar from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this presentation, we discuss about Kalman's graphical method for active earth pressure. Kalman developed a graphical method which is more general than Rebugan's construction. It can be used to determine the Coulomb's earth pressure for ground surface of any configuration, for various types of surcharge load and for layered backfill. Procedure for Kalman's graphical method, it consists of following step. The picture shows the retaining wall to retain the soil mass in the one side and AB is your inclined face of your retaining wall. Step 1, from point B, there is a toe point, a line BD is drawn at an angle pi dash to the horizontal. As the weight of the wedge is plotted along this line BD, so it is also known as weight line. Step 2. A line BL is drawn at an angle psi to the line BD such that psi equal to beta minus delta where beta is the angle which the back face makes with the horizontal and delta is the angle of friction. Step 3. A failure surface BF is assumed and weight of the failure wedge ABF is computed. Step 4. The weight of the wedge ABF is computed in the previous steps and it can be plotted in the line BD that is BD is your weight line so BP equal to capital W the W denotes weight of soil mass present in the wedge ABF that can be plotted in the line BD. Step 5 after plotting your point P in the weight line a line PQ is drawn from point P that line is parallel to your BL to intersect the assumed failure surface BF at Q. Step 6. The length PQ represent the magnitude of PA required to maintain equilibrium for the assumed failure plane or PA is your active earth pressure. Step 7. The several other failure plane BF dash, BF double dash, BF triple dash, etc. are assumed and the procedure is repeated. Thus, the point Q dash, Q double dash, and Q triple dash, etc. are located. In this picture, for example, another one failure plane BF dash is assumed. So, the weight of the soil weight in the wedge a b f dash that weight is plotted in the line b d you get the point p dash then draw a line p dash q dash that will be parallel to your b l at it intersect the line b f dash that is your failure plane at point q dash thus procedure is repeated you get the point q double dash and Q triple dash for several failure planes. Next step, a smooth curve is drawn joining the point Q dash, Q, Q double dash and Q triple dash etc. That curve is known as Kalman's line. After draw your Kalman's curve or Kalman's line, a line is drawn tangential to the Kalman line and that line is parallel to your BD that is your weight line locate the point capital T is the point of tangency after locating the point capital T that is a point of tangency the magnitude of the largest value P max of PA is measured from the tangent point capital T to the line BD and it is parallel to your BL line it is equal to Coulomb's active earth pressure PA. The actual failure plane passes through the point of tangency capital T as shown in figure. There is a red color dotted line shows the actual failure plane. Thank you.